Okay, so this is a bonus tutorial for those of you who saw my previous, uh, my previous tutorial on how to make the soda can. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make the uh, little thing at the top of the soda, which is this guy, not to open the thing that used to open it. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and make that guy so that you know our soda is more complete. So if you uh, if you if you want to get to this point where you have the soda done and you have the reference images, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below with the link to the video on how to start and get to this point. So what we want to do is we want to go to our top view, and I'm going to select this guy, the image for the top. Uh, press the W key. What I'll do is I'm just gonna move it out of the way so that I don't have these. Uh, I have the geo for the soda can blocking my view. So I'm going to deselect it. Now we're gonna start and make it. So you no, know, just like we did it with the soda can, uh, like I have two different videos showing how to make it completely differently with different techniques. So when it comes to making this guy, the same thing applies. You can make it uh, using different techniques. So what I'll show you right now is a completely different way of doing it as to how I made the soda can. So what I'll what I'll do is I'll show you how to do it using the uh, the mesh the modeling toolkit. So if you're using Maya 2018, which I am, the modeling toolkit you can access it through here. So it's already open here. If you have an older version of Maya, you're gonna have to go to your, to your mesh tools and click on Open Modeling Toolkit. So now that we have the image and you have the uh, modeling toolkit open, what we want to use, we want to use the quad draw tool. Notice that if you just click on it, you get this message up here that says a live surface or selected object is required. In previous versions of Maya, you didn't, you didn't need to do this. You could just press on it and start, you know, start tracing your image. But unfortunately, in Maya 2018, in my opinion, they kind of messed it up and then they added this requirement. So now that we have that requirement, what we have to do is we have to make a new model uh, to meet that requirement, which is pretty useless in my opinion. But let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to create polygon primitives and just create a plane. What I'll do is I'm going to press W and then just drag this guy nearby because it has to be nearby for this to work. And again, if you're using an older version of Maya, you don't even have to do, to do this step. So now that we have that guy selected, we can go to Quad Draw Tool, and now we can actually trace uh, our image. So let me show you here. So if you click here, do another click. I'm doing a left mouse click, one here and say here. So now I'm starting to trace my image. And we want to fill uh, our points with geometry. To, to do that, we hold down Shift, and as you can see here, we can actually uh, fill our geometry. So hold down Shift and left mouse click, and do the same with these other points as well. You can see that we, we now we have geo that we can use. So let's go ahead and finish this guy up. Let's just trace this guy. So this part is just a little bit more tricky because we have to now make sure we have enough points here. And there we have it, we just traced our image and now I'm going to press Q to exit to and if you go to uh, right left mouse I mean right mouse click and hold and go to vertex you now you can start to shape this guy so that you have the correct shape it's not all you know messed up so 
So you can fix that on your own time. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And now I have to get rid of this plane that I had to create for no reason just to use this tool. Again, I think they kind of messed it up in this latest version of Maya. So I'm going to select the faces and just delete that. Now if I go to my uh, perspective view, you can see that we have that little thing now. So let me go to object mode. And we want to give this guy some thickness. So we want to go to edit mesh extrude. And just give it some thickness, right? Let me use the arrow here instead. And this guy's pretty, pretty thin. Now... I'm going to do it up here so it's not dark. And there we go. I'm going to press Q. And there you have it. That was pretty easy to make, right? And that's pretty... That was pretty easy to make. Now let's give it... Let's give it just a little more... Okay, let's make it so that it's not so geometric. So I'm going to select all the edges. On the outer... All the outer edges. So I'm just double clicking. Oops, not that guy. Make sure you get the ones from the other side too. Okay, so I have all these all the outer edges selected. What I'll do is I'm going to edit mesh and use the bevel and what I'll do is I'm going to increase this to like one maybe more than that maybe like just go crazy with two now press Q and there you go guys now we have that little piece that opens our soda and all we have to do now is press W I have to do that is just place it on my soda Maybe we can rotate a little bit. So there we have it. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, that was super easy to make. You know, I just used a quad draw tool. As long as you make an object that's really close to it, you can use that tool. Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching.